and welcome to Medical Shorts by Pewter IMG. In this video, I am going to discuss about acute coronary syndrome. Acute coronary syndrome is an umbrella term that includes unstable angina, ST segment elevation MI, and non-ST segment elevation MI. Unstable angina is defined as angina at rest, new onset angina, accelerating pattern of the pain, which is defined as increase in frequency, increase in duration, decrease threshold for exertion, and decrease response to the treatment. Coming to ST segment elevation MI, ST segment elevation MI is defined as myocardial necrosis that is characterized by ST elevation or the presence of the bundle branch block. The patient has the positive cardiac markers the patient can also have pathological Q wave as well. Coming to non-ST segment elevation MI. So non-ST segment elevation MI is defined as myocardial necrosis that is characterized by no ST segment elevation no bundle branch block, but the patient have positive cardiac enzymes. So how do you manage these patients? So we are going to start with the journal management of the patient. So the first thing is that you have to correct hemodynamic status first, A, B, C, cardiac, monitoring, give the patient oxygen, aspirin. The dose we give to the patient is usually 160 to 325 milligram, which is a chewable tablet. IV morphine, chest x-ray, if the patient present less than 30 minutes. Obtain cardiac markers, electrolytes, and coagulation profile. So based on EKG reading, if the patient has ST elevation, give the patient heparin. You can give unfractionized heparin or low molecular weight heparin, nitroglycerin, cloppy dogrel, and beta blocker. Keep in mind, you have to perform reperfusion therapy stat. So depending on the hospital protocol and the patient indication, you can either place the stent with balloon inflation or give the patient fibrolysis. If the patient's symptoms are less than 12 hours, the goal for stent placement and balloon inflation should be within 90 minutes. That is for stent placement and balloon inflation. For fibrolysis, the goal is to perform this uh, procedure within 30 minutes, right? So this is the management of the patient who have ST segment elevation. If there is ST depression, so the first thing you will check is for the cardiac enzyme. If the patient has elevated cardiac markers, and the patient is high-risk patient, 
you will give the patient nitroglycerin, which can be given IV or per oral. Give the patient heparin that can be given intramuscular or IV and possible other medication, which include beta blocker, clopidogrel, glycoprotein, 2B, 3A inhibitor. You will admit the patient to monitored bed. Continue giving aspirin, heparin, and other medication, AC inhibitor, ARB, statins, expert consultation to assess the cardiac risk factors. So I'm going to recap. If the patient has ST depression and the patient has elevated cardiac marker plus the patient is high risk, you will give the patient nitroglycerin, IV or per oral, heparin that can be given intramuscular or IV, beta blocker, clopidogrel, glycoprotein, 2B, 3A inhibitor. You need to admit the patient to monitored bed. Continue giving the patient aspirin, heparin, and other medication. AC inhibitor, ARB, statin, expert consultation to assess for the risk factor. On the other hand, if the patient has normal ST segment, so how will you proceed with that? So in that scenario, you will consider possible admission of the patient. You will perform serial EKG, cardiac monitoring, non-invasive testing, which include thallium, and stress testing. Depending on the result, if the patient EKG become abnormal, patient cardiac marker become abnormal, or the patient has abnormal result on non-invasive testing, then you will admit the patient to monitored bed. Give the patient aspirin, heparin, and other medication, which could be AC, ARB, statins, expert consultation to assess for the risk factor. But this is what we do when the patient test results are abnormal. On the other hand, if everything is normal, the next step is that you will discharge the patient and do regular follow-up. So this is how you are going to manage the patient of acute coronary syndrome. So if you like this video, kindly press the bell icon and subscribe to our channel, Tutor IMG. Thank you very much.